Hey, Tommy from the Run Testers with another first run review. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Merrill Agility Peak 5. Let's take a look. The Merrill Agility Peak 5 costs £140 or $140, weighs 280 grams and 9.9 ounces for men in a size 8, the drop is 6 millimeters, and the lugs are 5 millimeters. The Merrill Agility Peak 5 is the latest version of the brand's popular do-it-all trail shoe. Updates include an increased rocker design for a smoother ride, a sculpted heel cup for non-slip comfort, and it shaves a few grams of weight when compared to the Agility Peak 4. It's a shoe that's designed to tick a lot of boxes when it comes to heading off-road, combining a healthy stack of Float Pro midsole foam for a comfortable ride with a generous layer of Vibram Mega Grip outsole rubber for grip and durability. The upper is made from an engineered mesh and TPU and includes an SBR mesh collar and tongue to improve the fit and minimise water absorption. There's also a protective toe cap, Flex Connect dual directional flex screws in the midsole for a natural ride and a rock plate to protect the feet from pointy things. So the fit for me in the Agility Peak 5 is very comfortable. Uh, I'm a size 8, this is a size 8 in the UK. The thing about Merrill shoes is I've always found is that comfort and fit has, is just great. I've never had any issues with a Merrill shoe. They're the sort of shoe that you can put on and for the first run, it just feels really comfortable. I think that's re really one of the big things about Merrill. They're just very comfortable from the off. Um, and that's a really nice thing to have when you're doing trail shoes because sometimes trail shoes can be a little bit uncomfortable, can take a little bit of time to wear in. Not like that with the um, Agility Peak 5. It's um, very comfortable um, and I definitely wouldn't cycle up or down in this shoe. There's plenty of space in the forefoot and it nicely holds your foot in place in the midfoot as well. So uh, yeah, I would stick to my size in the Agility Peak 5. So when it comes to fit, I ran in a UK and a half in this Agility Peak 5 and I would recommend going true to size. I found that to be perfect, really. That's my regular shoe size. I got good lockdown across the midfoot from the lacing. There's plenty of hold in the heel from the nicely sort of ample padded heel collars that we've got here quite a plush kind of heel collaring here just about enough room in the toe box decent bit of width going into that kind of from that midfoot into the forefoot and yeah overall i recommend going true to size in these the fit was pretty much spot on so my first run in the agility peak 5 was a 20 kilometer run uh, which was around the south downs um, and some road as well I was a big fan of the Agility Peak 4. I just think it's a very, it was a very good, versatile road to trail shoe, which just really ticked a lot of boxes. The Agility Peak 5 is pretty much the same sort of thing. I think there's some minor updates around it. I didn't really notice any anything major on the run. Uh, what I found is that, like the Agility Peak 4, it is a really good shoe if you just want one trail shoe to do lots of different things and maybe you're not racing you don't want the lightest shoe in the world um it's just very very comfortable to wear the run that i did uh started off there was 5k on road um at the start and at the finish and uh, i was actually a little bit worried when i picked took out the box because these uh, lugs on the bottom they do look a little bit um more aggressive than what i'd normally like from a road to trail shoe i did worry that over the course of the, the road sections, it was gonna be a little bit hard, a little bit uncomfortable. It's actually quite soft, the outsole. So the, the midsole is is um, very comfortable uh, for a trail shoe, very, uh, it's not soft, but it's quite balanced midsole. That outsole is actually fairly squishy. Um, it's, it's a relatively soft outsole rubber. So on the road, it felt fine, and I could have gone a lot longer with it. I think it would be an all right shoe to go up to maybe 10K on the road on if you had to. Um, maybe on harder ground as well if you were running out on compact trails or rocky trails or things like that. I think it would do a very good job on those because it does have a nice soft feel to it. Um, on the muddy sections, so it wasn't wet when I was doing my first run, it's quite dry at the moment in, on the South Downs, um, I found that it worked really well. Um, when, when it got a little bit softer on the ground, the outsole really kicks into gear nicely. I feel like there's a lot of grip on there. I did quite a few inclines and declines felt absolutely spot on for them. Very um, solid uh, lug on it, very very nice bit of outsole stickiness, uh, and it just felt very comfortable. To be honest, I didn't really think about the shoe when I was out running in it. It just sort of did the job, and I didn't I didn't really notice a lot about it, which is, I really think that's what Merrill focuses on and, and, and where they fit into the market. They're just a very accessible shoe. They don't have amazing 
uh, technologies and things like the Agility Peak 5 where you really notice it. It's not like there's uh, a plate in it. It's not trying to do anything like that. It's just trying to be a really solid, um, reliable, comfortable shoe that anybody can pick up and go, yeah, that was an absolutely great run. Um, and I didn't have any issues with my shoes at all. I found it very comfortable. The midsole is nice and balanced, as I said. Uh, on the road, it's just soft enough to, to feel like it's minimizing the impact um, and feels a little bit like a road shoe in that sense. Um, so it was nice and comfortable. Plenty of cushioning in it for a trail shoe, um, but it's not too soft that on the um, soft and muddy sections and grass, it becomes a problem. So it feels, yeah, pretty versatile, pretty good. Uh, and I really enjoyed that that first run in it. The upper felt great. There's this really nice gusseted tongue section. The whole of the tongue section is uh, connected to the inside of the shoe. Feels very comfortable and held, holds your foot in place like a sock-like feel, uh, but with a lot more reinforcement than you might get from a normal sock upper. It's not a particularly fast shoe, but it, equally it's not a particularly slow shoe either. It just sort of sits in that middle as being a nice balance. Um, so I could pick up the pace nicely when I was running out on the trails today. It didn't feel like it was sluggish, didn't feel heavy. Um, and I definitely say it's sort of shoe where if you wanted one trail shoe, you could pick this up and you'd be very happy. So for my first run in the Agility Peak 5, I've just done around about two hours or about 12 miles on a mixture of terrains, I had some sort of compacted forest paths. We we're out in the new forest here in the south of England, went across some grassland into some of the marshes as well, got a bit boggy and a bit wet in places, but also had some very sort of firm ground as well. Plenty of road miles in that as well. So a really good mix, good testing terrain for what is a road to trail shoe and a good amount of time on feet as well. Overall, I'm really impressed with these. I think the out of the box comfort is really solid. They feel really snug. There's a nice amount of kind of plushness from the heel collars. They've nice cushioned footbed. They've got a gusseted tongue, which might not be to everyone's uh, liking, but I quite like the way this pretty padded, but not overdone tongue kind of wraps over the top of the foot and takes away any lace pinch, holds your foot nice and snug and secure in the shoe as well. Locks it down really nicely onto that kind of midsole bed. But the thing I, really, I think I really liked most over it was this kind of big stack of foam that you've got underfoot. There was plenty of soft cushioning, but it wasn't overdone. I still felt nicely connected. I felt they coped really well with the road sections. You know, some trail shoes, they can feel heavy. They can feel a bit sticky. They maybe feel a bit firm, which means that the road and the firmer ground can be a bit harder. But actually, there was a lot of nice response from these shoes on those firmer sections. And actually on the road, they handled, again, starting to see this with trail shoes, road to trail shoes, but they handled as well as some road shoes that I've run in recently. You've obviously got a bigger stack, so you would do wonder about kind of stability, how that was going to hold up. And we were moving on some quite testing ground. You know, it wasn't particularly tricky and steep and downhill and too kind of stony. But on the uneven bits that I ran, I think the stability was there. Not as stable as some other firmer, more ground connected shoes, things like the Innovates that you might try out. But I think if you're looking for something that's going to offer a good amount of cushioning with a balanced amount of stability, then the Agility Peak 5 for these first miles that I've done have been a really good shoe. For that kind of slow clip long pace, I think I was moving somewhere between nine and a half minute miles up to 11s, roughly speaking, on quite tired legs. So I wasn't moving particularly fast. These did really well, soaking up the impact. But yeah, really, I still felt quite connected. I'm really impressed, actually. This is probably one of the first Merrill shoes that I've run in a long time where I've thought, yeah, I'd really like to put that one back on and go again and do more miles. The other thing I think was in its favor on the wet bits, you know, you've got these quite deep lugs good kind of aggressive grip pattern and when we got into the marshy bits and the soggy bits they coped very well as well and then when you move back onto the firm it's actually I didn't find them to be too grippy and too uh, sticky so when you're moving across firmer ground on the roads they were okay you didn't feel like you were being pulled back too much so overall for that first run miles yeah pretty impressed with the Merrill Agility Peak 5 a shoe that I think my instinct is that I'll be able to do long miles and long hours on foot on mixed terrain. <laughs> So my early verdict on the Merrill Agility Peak 5 is that it's it's a great shoe. I really like it. I think it's a really good road to trail shoe. Uh, there's a lot of nice points to it. I think it's solid grip. I think it's very comfortable. I think it feels like there's a nice turnover in it. You can use it for road to trail. I think it's the sort of shoe that if you're going out to do all sorts of trails, it will do a perfectly competent job. It's not gonna be the fastest shoe in the world. It's probably not gonna be the best on really technical terrain, but for most things, it does a really good job. And it's, it's just a solid shoe. It's the sort of shoe that you buy and just have in your collection for ages and you can use it whenever you want. 
I think it's a short shoe that I'd take away with me if I was going away to like the Peak Districts or something. And I just wanted to tick off loads and loads of miles. I didn't know what the weather was going to be like every day. Uh, and I just wanted something solid and reliable that was really comfortable as well. Probably even use it for a bit of walking as well because I think it's fine for that. It feels very secure, very sturdy um, and very stable as well, which is the sort of thing you want. It's just a solid, good shoe that I don't think anybody would be annoyed with this shoe. My really quick first run verdict on the Agility Peak 5. I have to say, confession, I found a lot of metal shoes to be a little bit cumbersome, a bit hard, a bit basically a bit firm and they're just not as finessed i think as some other shoes that you get out there some of the good road to trail shoes this one fresh out the box has done a sterling job it's really quite impressed with it i thought it had good cushioning reasonable amount of stability i like the way the upper's held i like the detail that they've got with the tongues i also think the padding here you're getting a nice plush ride and this is a shoe that i think would be a very happy shoe based on that first 12 miles and two hours that i would tackle ultra trail mixed terrain ultra trail in particularly if you're looking at a flatter or rolling ultra trail where you might be moving through villages and towns and doing good segments on the road as well for the new forest where i ran in this where the trails can be compacted and you're it's a bit more groomed it's not quite as technical you're not going to run over lots of tree roots lots of stones and bits and pieces like that if you're sticking to the trails this was a perfect kind of shoe for that kind of terrain so if you're running i guess on you know park paths and those kind of things i think this will do a good job it also handled really well on the road so yeah fresh out of the box two hours the agility peak five for me I, I was quite impressed and i'm looking forward to putting in more miles to bring you the full review but from that first run so far it's a thumbs up that's it on this first run review thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like subscribe click that little bell and if you're going to catch and blow you can find a link to our podcast which comes out at the end of each month and we talk about lots of things from super shoes and carbon sh plate shoes to all the other bits of kit we've tested recently thanks a lot for watching catch you next time